never been in a competition as important as this. And lane eight, Carl Lewis, his place in history assured a trip to the Olympic 100 this year would be amazing. He calls it a drama, a four-act play. This is the final act of the drama. He now thinking about, okay, what are those last-minute things? Carl has told us his last thoughts are about his angle in the blocks, the angle of his legs, of his arms, and driving off his front foot. He says his coach, Tom Telez, the best coach in the world, continues to drill him on those basics. Will Carl Lewis add to his Olympic legacy, or is this the last time we'll see him in a championship Open 100? got away well so did Drummond and Harden and Leroy Burrell coming down the straightaway Dennis Mitchell has the lead Harden is coming on here comes Marsh it's Dennis Mitchell that wins it and Carl Lewis has not qualified Carl Lewis chooses a long time to have his first really bad race of the year as Dennis Mitchell, the winner of the Olympic trials four years ago, repeats. Lewis had a strained right calf that he felt in the semifinal and seems to be getting some treatment on that now. Oh. Meanwhile, Dennis Mitchell in 9.92 has won the men's 100 meter final and will lead the U.S. contingent to the Olympic Games. It appeared Mike Marsh got second and perhaps John Drummond, third. Here's Chris Collinsworth with Carl Lewis. Something, but I, it never went away. You know, I came to this meet feeling very confident. I still do have the confidence. Things don't always go your way, but I feel good about it. I worked hard, I'm here, and I hope that this just shows that you have to do what, this, what you think is right. And I came here to run the best. We're going to have a great Olympic team. And I hope I can contribute in a relay. And I look forward to jumping along running the 200. Two gold medals in the 100 meters. Sort of the end of an era, though. But you have to be awfully proud of what you've done. I'm proud of what Dennis I've done. Mitchell I'm so happy. Also getting the too. And the two people John Drummond has done it. In my view, one, he was. I was very touched by the support I got from all the athletes and fans here that have been behind me. And also Nike. I mean, Nike took the time and the chance to support me last year. So these people have given me the opportunity to be here. Carl, congratulations on a great career. Thank you. It just wasn't my day, but uh, I'm going to have two more. All right. Tom. Mitchell matching the fastest time in the world this year with his unofficial 9.92. And you called it right. It was the start that made a huge difference as the man in the middle in the green had an outstanding start. Let's see if Lewis closest to the screen there on the left, you could see him favoring his leg just a little bit. But Mitchell, who got out so quickly, was never headed. Drummond may have been caught by Marsh right at the end. And it looks as if fourth place may have been Jeff Williams. Here's the official photo finish. Dennis Mitchell well in front, very tight between. From other countries, and this is part of his revenge. And Jeff Williams finishes in the worst spot. He was fourth. Dennis Mitchell wins the men's. 100 meter final. Yeah, yeah. Official results of the men's 100. Dennis Mitchell fastest this year, 9.92, with Mike Marsh and John Drummond.